came on earth, he came to teach us about the spiritual realm and how spirits operate. And not only did he come to teach us, but he came to empower us in order to fight in this war. Am I talking to the church? The enemy continues to attack the church, and as a matter of fact, Jesus said in the word that from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffering violence. It, it, it tells us that there's always war happening in the church. War on marriages, war on your personal life, war on your financing, war on your very body. We see where the Bible said that when Lucifer went to the law and spoke about Job, understand this, that Job was healthy. He was not sick because there was a natural sickness that came upon Job. But Job became sick because there was a spiritual attack that came in Job's life. Am I talking to the church? And so we see some things happening at times where we have to acknowledge what the devil is doing and how he operates. The enemy loves to operate in disguise. Yes, the, the devil doesn't like to be seen. He, he loves to cover himself. He loves to disguise himself. But then we have to understand that as a child of God, uh, when you, before you even got saved, you were not appointed aware of the spiritual realm and not aware of the things that happen in the spirit. But as soon as you get saved, then you become open to the spiritual realm. And so now you start to become recognized by the devil and the demons that operate in that place. And so Jesus, as you notice when he was on earth, there was a time when he spoke in the synagogue at 11 years old or 12 years old. But then there was a time when he had nobody heard anything about him. But as soon as Jesus came back on the scene and he was about to start his ministry, as soon as he got baptized and the Holy Ghost came down and identified him. The Bible said then the spirit moved him into the wilderness so that he could be tempted by the devil. As soon as you get recognized in the spiritual realm, that's when spiritual warfare is going to start in your life. Jesus himself had to experience this and we see him when Jesus, the Bible said he went on a ship, and watch this, as he was going on the ship, the Bible said that there rose a great storm of wind, and it came on them suddenly. It appeared now that this was a natural occurrence, because where they were going, it was between two mountains, and to get to the other side, but out of nowhere, the Bible said suddenly there came a great storm of wind, and the water started to beat in the ship, and so the ship was getting full, and Jesus was in the ship sleeping. Oh, God, somebody ought to understand that when you know who you are, and you know whose you are, you don't have to jump on water like the free that I'm telling What they were worrying about the water that was coming on the inside, Jesus was in the ship sleeping. And I talked in two minutes. I heard my sister go stop. No matter what stormed out, may rise. She said, I shall live. Jesus was sleeping because he had confidence that the devil or demon could overpower him. Jesus woke up out of the sea. He stood on the front of that ship and looked at the wind and the wheel and said, Peace, be still. How oh, many know that you have power? Leave your house. This people are your sons. This people are your attacks. And I talk to the church. It appeared that this song was a natural song. It was a normal song. But let me prove something to you. When they got to the other side, the Bible said a mad man came to Jesus. One who they could not own. They could not keep him. The boy said every chill that they put on him. He broke them off. He cut himself. 
at her workplace on the street. And so she has been working in the kingdom. A few months back, I would be there two years ago. She was not at the place that she should be. But she came out to the Lord, brushed herself off, put herself up, and now she means business for the kingdom. Yeah. With that being said, as Ruth was in the field working, she caught the eye of yeah. Boaz. And so today we have a brother of Boaz who decided that he wants. This room. Yeah. 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 And so I ask Brother Jay to come and listen. Yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit. And I'm ready to do that then. So let's go. So I'm sure it's going to be. Put your hands together for Brother Jay. This time, so how I think you see people get saved. Yeah. When you see people get saved, I want to do things the right way. Yeah. That's what we're for. <laughs> Shut your mouth. And I talk with you to the church. Amen. So today we're thankful for Brother Kajay. We're thankful for Sister Elisha. We're about to pray for them. Yeah. I have the reason. Yeah. 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 Journey so me now go backslide. Looking through the spirit on a physical eyes. 